Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Ah, today we will be doing listen to me guys. Jamaican style Toto. But we'll be doing it free-handed today. Alright? So free-handed. So you know we have Dejane here again, guys. I realized that the first video with Dejane, you guys enjoyed it. And you know we are gonna do this and we are doing it for the fun, we are doing it for the like. You understand? Always remember like, share, and subscribe. And turn on the notification bell, guys. You know, show your support. Alright, guys. So, first thing, we're gonna add all your dry ingredients your flour. So, and remember, I say, guys, I am not using any form of measurement. I'm doing this free handed. So, therefore, if you're gonna do this, go and get a recipe. Alright? So, I'm gonna pour my flour. I have no contribution to this whatsoever. This yeah, actually she's, just, she's just here, guys, because, you know, showing support. Alright, so my flour here. That looks like a lot. Cinnamon powder. No, spice it up. It's not even open, guys. It's not even open. All right. So cinnamon powder, you know, you don't want to put a lot because um, too much cinnamon powder tastes really awful. So you're not going to put a lot. All right. I think that should be it. So we'll put that around here. All right, guys. Flaxseed. I use flaxseed because I like I like to use um, those things. So I'm going to put a little bit of the flaxseed. I have my nutmeg powder. Uh, spice again, guys. You know, we can put a little extra This looks like you're flavor. making a chocolate cake. Alright. Well, chocolate because of the... That. That's something there. Put them on powder. Alright guys, so now we're gonna add baking powder. Right? Not baking soda. But the powder. Right. This is what is going to give you what you want guys. Baking powder. Do not overdo it. Don't overdo it guys. If you overdo it, remember total is something that you want to be a bit more say no foodie wow. you don't want it too light yeah so a bit heavy then yeah perfect word a bit heavy i right? baking powder so you really will add a little bit of baking powder so here i go again guys do not quote me on this and of course, you guys will see the end product when I'm finished because trust me, I know what I'm doing. He does and not. I guess Dejeuner will give you her reviews. And y'all right. know I'm so, finna be real with y'all, so if it tastes bad, oh god. And I'm gonna put a little bit of baking soda as well. Alright. Mm -hmm. Salt. Not too much, you know. Not too much. High blood pressure. Just for <laughs> spice, um, spice wise, then yeah, you're gonna put a little bit of baking soda. Now, guys, I have a measuring cup here for mixing. I am going to mix all my wet ingredients. Vanilla. Vanilla. It is black. Alright, so let me just get rid of these that I've already used. Uh, baking soda, baking powder, all of that. 
All right, guys. So spice. Watch me. Not too much. But you said free-handed, so you're never supposed to. Just well, I'm do not. It I'm not here. judging it, but I don't want to combine all the wet ingredients just yet. This is uh, almond. Sorry, guys. Almond flavoring. And because I'm going to use an egg or two, I'm going to put a little bit of lime juice, guys. Lime juice. I'm hungry. That vanilla is making me hungry. All right. And here I am going to add some egg. Yeah, egg. All right, so I learned in school. I did foods in school, guys. Yes. I, I did, did it for like a school. year, and then that was it. So I'm going to add the egg, but you know I cannot break the egg in this. All right. This my little wet ingredients here. Because you know if I do that, guys, and the egg spoil everything here, so automatically become Waste of money, and great. I am broke. We don't want to do that. All right, so just a minute, let me get something to break the eggs in. All right, guys, so yes, have a, a little dish, a little dish. I have a spoon because <laughs> I'm mixing, so I'm gonna use a spoon. All right, and this is a tablespoon. No. I'm sorry. Yeah, tablespoon, tablespoon. Teaspoon is smaller, right? Right. Great. All right, guys. So here we go. Don't forget to follow Breaking me on egg. IG at underscore I'm dot a loner. At dot a loner. All right. Disposing. And uh, guys, I did it messy. So therefore piece of shell, you know, get to a night. So yeah, so I have my egg, oh, uh, all right, I have my egg, guys. I'm gonna add it to the wet ingredients. That's one, I have another. Perfect, both the eggs, they're good. Gonna add the second. Great. <laughs> now <laughs> we're gonna put our fat, which is margarine. I melted it because I couldn't bother to do the creaming out and all of that. That would have taken you know, so much like time. You making butter in a cake or something? Yeah. So I went ahead and I melted the margarine. So there we go. That smells so good. And then we're gonna mix. Still, re remember, guys, I haven't added the. Still haven't added any sugar. One. And I still haven't added the coconut. Grated coconut, guys. Grated coconut. Of it. Great you know you have um, to test no. all of them. No. Alright guys, you know if you don't beat the egg properly then it sometimes tends to get or tends to make whatever cake or pastry that you are baking raw and also easy to spoil. So you wanna ensure that you beat it a yeah, good look at time. Everyone do what they're doing different. So now I have my grated coconut here. I'm gonna add it to the flour. All right, and I'm going to combine both grated coconut, guys. Grated coconut. May I have some? Come over. You know, you have um, to test no. all of them. No. 
All right, guys, you know, if you don't beat the egg properly, then it sometimes tends to get or tends to make whatever cake or pastry that you are baking raw and also easy to spoil. So you want to ensure that you beat it for a good little time. All right. Everyone do what they're doing different. So now I have my grated coconut here. I'm gonna add it to the flour. All right, and I'm going to combine both the flour and the coconut together <laughs> with the rest of my dry ingredients. Eh? Jamaican food, when I think coffee, I straight English, guys. Jamaican food, where do you have Why am I over here? So, I'm going to mix up the flour and the coconut, the grated coconut. What the Jamaican them call coconut trash. Alright? That you eat with vanilla and sugar. Yeah. Growing up, Sunday, for my mother couldn't, <laughs> guys, um, I really don't do patwa very well because I always tend to mix patwa and English together. But yeah, broken my mother never, Creole. yeah, broken Creole. My mother never, or, or should I better yet, she couldn't um, blend our grit of the coconut on a Sunday morning I'm going to get some with sugar or else the food can't cook. Better yet, the food can't taste good if you don't want the coconut trash with sugar. You understand? That is hip hop. <laughs> hypocrisy. Okay. Can <laughs> me know that word they actually come with you now, but guess what? But they did say, I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> that is hypocrisy, you know why? He just tell me no. Guys, I'm not here now. I'm going to add the rest. You want this? I don't want to tell about your parts on the camera. Alright, so she not getting none guys. My half are some and because maybe because of the camera, she don't want to take it. So she not gonna get none. I am so modest, that's a disrespect. Alright, so still here combining and we use the cooking technique cut and fold according to my food teacher. Had three food teacher. Um, well, two, two to be exact. I did home management in school, and I did commercial food prep, and I did food and nutrition. All right, so I'm gonna leave a little space in the middle. I'm so showing you guys. So this is what the dry mixture looks like. I I still haven't added any sugar as yet and now I'm going to add the egg, the margarine, the different spice and the lime juice all right Chocolate. so there we go now I'm gonna go ahead guys and I'm going to mix the milk with the sugar and then we're gonna add that to the all right guys so I'm gonna use a little bit of water well, not a little, about maybe two cups. Well, I don't want to feel like so. Mm. <laughs> it, you know. And remember, guys. Um, preferably, especially for persons who may see this video and want to go ahead and do it free-handed, you may not want to add too much milk all at once because you don't want to get the dough too runny the dough must be stiff all right so i'm gonna add maybe about half cup sugar you don't want it too sweet or some sugar some sugar guys some sugar 
I don't want to I don't want you guys to go ahead and quote me and then I'm gonna quote me I'm going to foolishness now this is milk uh, milk powder coconut milk powder all right just for the fun I'm gonna mix it out with my sugar then I'm gonna add it to my dry ingredients so here we go y'all must be asking what is the necessity of me being in this video well Okay, so I'm mixing and the technique we use is cut and fold you go around anti-clockwise also <laughs> you come back through the middle you go around you cut come back through the middle you go around cut come back through the middle Around, cut, come back, chew. Around, cut, come back, chew. You understand? My butter no gone in. What so walk, come over here, so with me. We are going to put it in the butter. So I am doing the greasing. Mm -hmm. Oh. So if you, if you look closely, you will see something in there that is margarine. So I'm gonna wipe it all around, all around guys, all around, all around, all around, all around, all around, but let me just get it to the better angle. We can angle it better because I really don't want to drop this and break it. Alright, so here we go, this is perfect, and I use napkin because I don't want to have my bare hands to do it you know so this is what the pan looks like i'm gonna start the oven all right guys so i'm about to add my butter to the pan all right you don't want to fill it up too much don't want to fill it up too much guys because remember it's going to raise and of course you don't want to raise too much over the pan right so the scrape 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 this is enough for two And guys, I, I'm going to add some raisin, however, I'm not going to add the raisin to the butter, I'm going to put the raisin on top, alright, I don't know, guys, so um, this is what my finished raw product How is it finished? Raw? product looks like but guys um i also will be dropping two of them in the oven they roast i don't know this fit till it boss so guys you know the next meal i can look out for maybe it's roast breadfruit with aki and saltfish mm. all right so until then guys we will see you once. So welcome back. Thank you for staying with me. I now have the finished product. And it's right over here. So it actually looks like. Yeah. So this is exactly what the finished product looks like. And again, guys. This was made free-handed. And of course, it's all perfect right as i made mention while making the the butter i said that this is something that i would have already done before so i know exactly what i was doing 
and of course I know that it would become perfect all right so this is what the product actually looks like now over here we have the breadfruit so yeah that one here look burn up but of course it's fine it's fine only looks that way it's good 